Hello everyone, welcome to another Router Gods video. My name is Humphrey Chung and in this video we're going to take a look at VMware Workstation 7.1 and we're going to just sort of go through the menus and the menu settings that you could change. So first off I've got my VMware Workstation menu open. I'm going to just double click to maximize it. And your default settings, the way it will look is after you install it, will look sort of like this. You've got a sidebar on the left, you've got your menu options at the top, and you've got your toolbars up here. You also have your virtual machines in the middle here. So here you can see I've got Ubuntu 64 Linux and a clone of Ubuntu. Both are currently off. And you've got a sidebar down here. So what I do is I sort of clean up the junk. I get rid of the sidebar. I kill the status bar. And I also kill the tabs. It's just extra stuff I don't need. You can always get those back by going back to view and clicking the appropriate options. Okay, so here you can see I've got Ubuntu 64 Linux is powered off. It tells you some interesting information. It tells you the physical location of the file. So that's pretty nice. It tells you the version and the snapshots, the snapshot version I'm on. So I've taken two snapshots so far. And we'll get into explaining what those are in a later video. I could power this on by clicking there pretty easy to do or I could click that power on button up there if I wanted to. I've got some notes here so I could put in here GNS3 installed. It's pretty nice. And I've got my device listings over here so it shows you the virtualized hardware and also some other options in the other menu. Let's actually go to devices and you can see here that the main things that I would like to change usually are the memory, how much memory is allocated to the virtual machine and how many processors are allocated. Sometimes you might also want to change the network adapter. Here you can see it's configured as NAT, but usually I don't touch this. What this means is that your operating system, your main operating system, is going to serve as sort of a router for the guest operating system. So my Windows 7, which is what I'm running natively, will pass the routing information, will pass the internet uh, packets to my guest machine, my Ubuntu Linux. So it allows my, my Linux, when I start it on, when I start it, to access the internet, to download stuff. It, it functions as, norm, as it normally would if I had physically plugged it into my switch or router. I can change how much memory is allocated. See, you can see here I've got it on 2 gigs. Now since my machine is off, I'm actually not using any memory or any processing power. This only takes effect when I turn the virtual machine on. And you can see the slider right here. I can move it from 2 gigs to whatever. Uh, usually I give it at least 512 megs. If you're low on memory, probably 1 gig is usually okay. But in my case, since I've got 8 gigs of RAM, I pop it up to 2 gigs. Number of processors, I've got it at 2. So 2 processors, 1 core per processor. This is something you might have to mess with and it's going to be different whether you have a dual core, quad core, or you're running a Core i7 which is quad core with hyper threading so it gives you eight virtual cores. And virtualization engine, I usually don't mess with that. Hard disk space, after you have configured your virtual machine or started it up, you I don't think you can change this. I've got it set at, as a 10 gig file. Yeah, it doesn't look like I can change it here and we'll go over making a new virtual machine in a, another video. Cancel out of that. And let's just go over the menu options up at top. I can go to file. I can make a new virtual machine or new team. I can open an existing virtual machine. I can import and export. This is pretty cool. I can take a virtual machine and rip it out of uh, vSphere or ESX server. I can rip it out of there and then run it on my own operating system, my own a laptop or desktop. So that's pretty nice. I could also take it from another virtual program like Microsoft's virtual stuff, virtual PC, and I can convert it into VMware format and run it under VMware Workstation. That's really, really nice. So we've got some other stuff there. We don't need to worry about that. Edit. Uh, usually you don't have to worry about edit. You've got some things in preferences that you could play with. I might make another video about that. Usually I don't mess with the stuff in preferences. Then we could go to view, 
and you can see here this is where we turn on and off the tabs and the toolbars that we messed with. You can go to VM, power, so I could power on, start up a guest, power on the BIOS is pretty nice. So this powers on your operating system but just the BIOS. Uh, let's actually try that. Okay, it's telling me you can't connect to virtual floppy, okay, because that's I'm not running to that. And I'll just click yes, why not? And this is my virtual BIOS. It's pretty nice. Looks sort of like the BIOS you would encounter in real life. Let's see what we could do here. Of course this this is not my real laptop BIOS, this is a virtualized BIOS. Alright, that's pretty slick. So I'm going to hit uh, Control alt to get my cursor back. So you probably notice that when you're in sort of a maximized mode like, mode like this, if I click into the window, now I'm within the virtual machine window right there. And to get back, I hit Control alt and then I'm back to my regular cursor that I can go outside. I'm going to power that down. Usually you don't really need to get into the virtualized BIOS, but at least that option is there for you. You've got your snapshot stuff right there, clone stuff, delete from disk, this basically wipes out your virtual machine. Team, you don't need to worry about that. Window, you don't need to worry about, and then your help menu. Alright, so that was a quick and easy introduction to the menu and option settings within VMware Workstation. In the next video, we're going to cover actually creating a virtual machine. Thanks for watching.